Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and I'm going to do some IXLs solving a system of equations using elimination. All right, so let's see. Do I need to adjust this? Let's zoom this out a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, so my first one is negative 6x plus 6y equals negative 18 and negative 6x plus 3y equals 12 and those man those x's they want to cancel out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and change all the signs so let's make that a positive I'll make this a negative and we'll make this a negative and now we're ready to add those equations together these guys cancel out and i'm left with 3y equals negative 30, so y equals negative 10. So I have the y piece of it, but I still need the x piece. Let's put that in. So I know that y is negative 10, but I still have to go get the x. So I'm going to take this y, and I'm going to plug it in right there. So negative 6x plus 6 times y, but I know y is negative 10, equals negative 18. Negative 6x minus 60 equals negative 18. Negative 6x, I'm going to add 60 to both sides. That's going to give me, what's 42? So it looks like x equals negative 7. Negative 6 times negative 7 is 42. Let's see if that worked for me. Plugging this guy in at negative seven. This is a physical point where those two guys meet. It is correct. Is this going to erase? It is. That is some strong marker. Good. Let's do another one. Next one, we have negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 6, negative 5x minus 2y equals 9. Man, those y's, they want to cancel out. So I'm going to go through and change all the signs. I'll change that to a positive. Change this to a positive. Change that to a negative. Now the y's are going to cancel. Goodbye, y's. That leaves me with 3x equals negative 15, so x equals negative 5. Good, I've got the x value at negative 5. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take the negative 5, and I'm going to plug it in right there. So negative 2 times the x, which I know is negative 5, minus 2y equals negative 6. So 10 minus 2y equals negative 6. Subtracting 10 from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 16. So y would be 8. So negative 5 and 8. There's my 8. Good work. Man. Nicely done, Mr. Barr. Let's do another one. Let's see. Oh, this one. I like this one. Why do I like this one? 3x minus 10y equals negative 20. You're going to see it here. Negative 7x plus 10y. Why do I like this? Equals negative 20. It's because those y's are ready to go. I don't have to do anything. They're going to cancel out right away. And I am now left with 4x equals negative 40. So x equals negative 10. Let's take that negative 10 and we'll plug it in right there. So 3 times negative 10 minus 10y is negative 20. Negative 30 
minus 10y equals negative 20, adding 30 to both sides, negative 10y equals 10, so y equals negative 1. So x equals negative 10, y equals negative 1. I'm going to double check this. I'm going back to the original equation. I want to make sure this really works. So 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 10 is negative 4. I like it. Okay. Oh, what? Whoa, I thought I just checked it. That was so... Where did I lose it? I lost it. I lost it. Where did I lose it? Oh, do you see? I, oh, my goodness. I lost it right here. I lost it right there. That should be a negative, which makes that a negative 10. No, it makes that a positive 10, which, oh, my goodness, Mr. Barr. What's, oh, I just lost my smart score, didn't I? So disappointing. Okay, let's keep going. Yes, 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 I got it. Two x minus eight y equals ten. Two x plus seven y equals negative five. I want the x's to cancel, so I'm going to change the sign, make that a negative, make that a negative, make this a positive. So negative 15y equals 15. So y equals negative one. Let's take that and we'll plug it in right here. So 2x minus 8 times y, but I know y is negative 1, equals 10. 2x plus 8 equals 10. Subtracting 8, so 2x equals 2x equals 1. x equals 1, y equals negative 1. x equals 1, y equals negative 1. Super! Oh, I like this one even better. Why do I like this one? Because those x's are going to cancel out right away. Can I just cancel them out? Watch this. X's cancel. That leaves me with y equals negative 10. Let's take that and plug it into the top equation. So negative 10x plus 5 times y and y equals negative 10. So negative 10x minus 50 equals negative 20, adding 50 to both sides. Negative 10x equals 30, so x equals negative 3. So negative 10 and negative 3. x is negative 3, y is negative 10. I'm going to check that. Negative 10 times negative 3 is 30. 30 minus 50 is negative 20. I like it. Although I like that last one, too, that I got wrong. Nice. Uh, I've been doing this for eight minutes. What's my smart score? Smart score. My smart score is 50. Okay. So, so if I ask you to do this for 20 minutes, you should definitely be able to get to a smart score of 50. I got three right, I got one wrong, and I'm a smart score of 50. Okay, it's valid. I guess, yes, smart score of 50. It's reasonable. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching. You don't get to stop now, though. You still have another 10 minutes to do. Probably. I don't know. What am I assigning this year? Keep working. That's it. Thanks. Bye.